how to use video trimmer package in your flutter app to trim your videos to use video trimmer package first we have to install video trimmer package that provides us with all the functionalities we need to trim a video and then we have to install the file picker package that allows us to select a video from the file manager now let's add the required permissions to in our info.plist file to run our app on ios devices here we have added the permissions to access camera microphone and library after that we have created a button named load video that will allow the user to select a video we have first picked the file of type video and set the allow compression to false after that we have assigned it to a variable named result now here we have checked that if the result is not null then assign the file object to a variable named file and then checked if the widget is still mounted then navigate to a new screen named trimmer view with the file path as a parameter in our trimmer view state class we have created a variable named trimmer and initialize it with an instance of the trimmer after that we have created four variables named start value end value is playing and progress visibility which we are going to use later now let's create a function named load video that loads a video file into the trimmer instance using the load video method of the trimmer class which takes a video file parameter that contains the path of the video file to be loaded after that we have called load video method in our init state function now let's create a function named save video in which first we have set the progress visibility to true and then we have saved the trimmed video by calling save trim video method of the trimmer instance in this we have passed three arguments that are start value that provides the starting point of the trimmed video end value that provides the ending point of the trimmed video and on save method which is basically a callback function that will be called when the trimmed video is saved inside the on save function the progress visibility state is set to false to hide the progress bar and then we navigate to our previous view screen to display the trimmed video now in our widget build function we have created a column in which we have displayed a linear progress indicator wrapped by a visibility widget after that we have created an elevated button named save in which we have called the function save video and then attached a dot then method to complete its execution and then creates a snack bar with a message that shows the output path after that we have created a trimmer view widget from the video trimmer package and passes various properties to it such as trimmer object which provides access to the video being trimmed the viewer height and viewer width to set the size of the video viewer duration style to set the format for displaying the video duration max video length to set the maximum length of the trimmed video editor properties to set the appearance of the trim area and area properties to set the appearance of the area outside the trim area we have also passed on change start where we are updating the value of our variable named start value with the current value in on change end function we are updating the value of our variable named end value with the current value and in on change playback state function we are updating the value of our variable named is playing with the current value after that we have created a text button that displays an icon of either a play or pause button depending on the current state of the video playback when the button is pressed it will call the video playback control function to start or pause the playback of the video being added once the playback state is obtained from this function the is playing variable is updated with the playback state which will cause the ui to update and display the correct play pause button now let's create our preview video screen in which we take the file path of the output video as parameter after that we have created a variable named controller of type video player controller in our init function we have initialized the video player controller with the output file then attached a dot then method to complete its execution then the controller is played and the state is updated to reflect this change in the dispose method the video player controller is disposed of to release the resources in our widget build function we have created an aspect ratio widget that maintains the aspect ratio of the video being played if the video is initialized the video player will widget is shown otherwise a circular progress indicator is shown in the center of the screen 